Hello everyone, welcome back to Modern Creative Channel. Somewhere in the vast ocean there are ships buckling up against the fury of the sea. From the sky, storms like these come suddenly and often. Under the sea, the reefs are always ready to prevent the ship from moving. Not only that, there are countless dangers and risks lurking during the journey of a ship while floating at sea. To reduce risks, shipping lines need to have a maintenance and repair plan in place to ensure that it is always in top operating condition. When the need for repairs arises, the ship may have crashed and need to be rectified immediately, or it may be that according to the maintenance schedule, it needs to be repaired. So how were those ships repaired and maintained? In this video, we follow the journey of ships in need of repair to answer that question. What are you waiting for? Let's go together. This is the bulk carrier MV Benita, it ran aground on its way to Durban. Water got into the ship and it could no longer move on its own. Before it was completely repaired, it needs to be rescued. Five Ocean Salvage, based in Greece, Five Ocean Salvage, FOS, is an international salvage, towage, wreck removal and emergency response contractor that's been operating worldwide since 2007 was in charge of saving this ship. A detailed plan has been drawn up. First, a total of 145 tons of fuel on the ship was removed, the hull that was punctured by the impact on the reef was welded, and the water flooded into the ship was pumped out. Ultralight Dyneema ropes were then used in towing the ship to the dock for repairs. Before being repaired and maintained, the ships will be towed by tugboats to the docks. Here, the entire ship is brought to the surface and ready for the process of surveying and planning repairs. Depending on each part and the extent of damage and the owner's desire to repair and maintain, the ship will have a separate repair and maintenance plan. Activities during repair and maintenance usually include washing, removing old paint, rust and organisms attached to the hull, repainting the ship. Weld the places that are punctured, broken or have weak structures due to long operating time, replacing parts that are overdue for replacement.
You are looking at the ship's propulsion repair and maintenance activities. This is a detachable part so it was taken apart by the workers for repair. This is the cruise ship MS Sodam in Uruguay. Its old crankshaft was damaged due to wear at the bearing points, so it was brought back to the dock to prepare to replace a new crankshaft. The new crankshaft has a large size and weighs 7.5 tons. The move and replacement is done by Ale Company. They use the jack and slide technique to put the new crankshaft in place to be installed. This exchange process takes three days to complete. Let's watch the workers and mechanical engineers carry out this exchange.
After the repair is completed, the ship will be lowered into the water and ready for new journeys.